through the United States Department of Agriculture, Department of Defense Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program, known as the USDA DOD Fresh Program, the USDA is able to offer a wider variety of fresh produce than would normally be available through USDA purchases. My name is Blair Tucker Gruchala, and I am a program analyst in the Program Integrity and Monitoring Branch in the Food Distribution Division. I am presenting this webinar, USDA DOD Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program, The Basics, which will outline the history, how the program operates, and the advantages of the program. In this webinar, I will describe the history of the USDA DOD FRESH program. I'll explain how the program operates, define the stakeholders' roles and responsibilities, as well as explain the advantages and challenges of the program. I'll provide information on how to file a USDA DOD FRESH complaint. I'll also explain the web-based fresh fruit and vegetable order receipt system known as FAVORS, and lastly, I'll provide a list of resources and contacts. The USDA and DOD work in partnership to effectively operate the USDA DOD Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program. FNS administers the USDA DOD FRESH program. The DOD maintains contracts and ensures proper procurement. The history of the USDA DOD FRESH program began in 1995 when the Food and Nutrition Service signed an agreement with DOD's Defense Logistics Agency, known as DLA, to leverage DOD's existing procurement infrastructure to provide food, including fresh produce, to military bases. Schools were requesting more fresh fruit and vegetable options, and DOD had procurement contracts with numerous produce vendors to supply produce to military bases. This collaborative partnership was an excellent way to leverage DOD's procurement system to provide a variety of nutritious U.S.-grown fresh fruits and vegetables to schools and Indian tribal organizations known as ITOs. The program began as a pilot with eight participating states with produce valued at $3.2 million that was delivered to schools in 1996. Due to the favorable response from participating states, the program was made available to all states. As part of the National School Lunch Program, known as NSLP, which provides healthy, balanced, low-cost or free lunches to nearly 31 million students, the USDA DOD FRESH program is offered to schools in 48 states, the District of Columbia, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Over 22,000 schools receive fresh fruits and vegetables from this program. If a school is interested in participating in the USDA DOD FRESH program, please reach out to your state distributing agency. Because of the success of the USDA DOD FRESH program for schools, in 1996, the program was piloted for the Food Distribution Program on Indian Reservations, known as FDPIR, with two ITOs. By 2007, there were 99 ITOs participating, which represented 90% of the FDPIR program. Today, there are 102 ITOs and three state agencies that directly administer the FDPIR, reaching approximately 276 tribes across the country. On average, FDPIR serves almost 90,000 individuals each month. Schools receive two types of support from the USDA. The majority of the support is provided in the form of cash reimbursement for the meals served and entitlement funding, also known as USDA food. USDA entitlement funding makes up about 15 to 20 percent of the food served in the school meal program. States and school districts can use their USDA foods entitlement funds in three different ways, direct delivery of USDA foods, 
bulk USDA foods for further processing, and the USDA DOD Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program. Participation in the USDA DOD Fresh is a choice. States can choose how they will allocate USDA entitlement dollars. As mentioned in the previous slide, states can choose to allocate to USDA foods, further processing, and the USDA DOD FRESH program. USDA DOD FRESH allocations may be changed throughout the year. The USDA DOD FRESH program allows schools to use their USDA foods entitlement dollars to buy fresh U.S. grown fruits and vegetables. The DOD contracts with over 45 produce distributors across the country who are all encouraged to provide local produce whenever possible and identify locally sourced items in the ordering catalog. Use of the USDA DOD Fresh continues to increase each year. In school year 2008, states allocated $50 million. As you can see in this chart, states allocations have steadily increased each school year with over $264 million being allocated for school year 2018, representing 15.9% of total NSLP entitlement. This program continues to provide schools with the opportunity to offer fresh produce using their entitlement dollars. U.S. produce growers supply produce that meets requirements to USDA DOD fresh produce vendors. All produce suppliers must follow food safety practices. USDA produce vendors distribute produce to participating USDA customers within their contract zone. The USDA DOD Fresh Produce Vendor is responsible for the procurement, storage, distribution, and invoicing. Delivery times are established by the vendor and customer. Vendors are also strongly encouraged to purchase as much locally grown produce as seasonally available in the quantity and quality needed to support all customers. The favors catalog will indicate which items are coming from local sources and or the state of origin. Produce vendors update the items and prices in the favors catalog each Sunday. Orders are placed in favors as early as five days or as late as 72 hours prior to delivery. The vendors are able to see the orders 72 hours prior to delivery, giving the vendor time to bring in the produce for delivery to the customers. It is very important that the school's receipt in favors within five days from receiving their delivery so the vendor can be paid. Successful program outcomes rest primarily on the efforts and accountability of various stakeholders. This slide outlines the stakeholders associated with the USDA DOD FRESH program. By defining the roles and responsibilities, we hope to improve overall stakeholder communication and clarify expectations. The USDA administers the USDA DOD FRESH program. Other responsibilities include providing DLA with a listing of receiving agencies and the total entitlement allocation. The USDA monitors the entitlement utilization and works with DLA and the state agencies if there are issues with the utilization. The FNS Technology Branch maintains the FAVORS system application. Most importantly, the USDA pays the DOD for produce purchases. When states submit complaints to the USDA, either due to recurring quality issues or vendor performance issues, the USDA works with DOD to ensure the vendor is in compliance with the terms of the contract. The DOD has several responsibilities in the program. They conduct market research to determine if there is vendor interest. They post the solicitation, evaluate the responses, and award the contracts. 
the DOD works with the states to include in the solicitations an accurate listing of all delivery drops and estimated entitlement allocations. The DOD establishes contract minimums based on previous contract spending, plus input from the states on anticipated future spending. They also monitor the contract to ensure the vendors are complying with the contract terms. When there are vendor performance issues, the DOD takes steps to ensure the vendor is in compliance with the contract. The demand for locally grown produce has increased significantly over the years and the DOD works with vendors to offer locally grown when available. The DOD and USDA are working closely to ensure schools and states contracting needs are included in solicitations and contract awards. One of the ways the DOD gathers the information is by conducting customer service surveys. State's responsibilities include contacting the Program Integrity and Monitoring Branch, known as PIM, in the Food Distribution Division, known as FDD, to make increases or decreases to entitlement allocation. States can make changes at any time. FDD will contact DLA to verify that contract changes can be made. All changes have to be submitted by the end of the month so that they can be uploaded to WebSCM during the first week of the next month. The recipient agency known as RA responsibilities include placing orders in favors that meet the minimum order requirements for the correct delivery days. We can't stress enough the RAs must inspect the produce at the time of delivery and document on the delivery sheet any shortages or rejected items for poor quality. The vendor cannot be paid until the RA receipts in favors, so it is important that the RA go into favors and accurately receipt within five days from delivery. In addition to documenting the issues on the delivery sheet, the RA should contact the DLA service representative and the vendor within one business day about quality, condition, availability, or delivery issues. If the issues persist, we recommend the RA notify their state agency to report recurring quality, condition, or availability and delivery issues. The RA should provide the vendor and DLA rep their school calendar showing school holidays and vacations. In the event of inclement weather, the RA should notify the vendor prior to the closing if the RA will be able to receive deliveries even if the school is closed. If the RA isn't able to receive deliveries when school is closed, the vendor will provide an alternate delivery date. And finally, the RA should monitor their entitlement balance in favors. The vendor's responsibilities include uploading a weekly catalog of U.S. grown fruits and vegetables including state of origin and pricing information that is firm at the time of order. They communicate produce news weekly through reports on market conditions, product availability, price fluctuations, new and local produce items. The vendor has 20 days to source customer requested items, obtain a stock number from DLA, and add the item to the favors catalog. The vendors are also required to provide timely deliveries of high quality fresh produce and maintain a fill rate of 98% without substitutions. At the time of delivery, the receiving agency must have 50% shelf life remaining on any fresh cut item. In the event of a recall, the vendor must promptly notify the receiving agencies. When complaints arise, the vendor works with the DLA and the school or state agency to ensure the complaint is resolved quickly and to the school's and or state satisfaction. Next, I'll discuss some of the advantages and challenges in utilizing the USDA DOD FRESH program. 
the USDA DOD FRESH program is flexible. States can change USDA DOD FRESH allocations at any time, which allows them more opportunities to utilize USDA foods entitlement dollars more effectively. The USDA does not impose a cap on the amount of entitlement dollars or the amount of cash reimbursement funds that a state can allocate to DOD purchases. This program is a request-driven system. The USDA DOD FRESH program offers consistency and frequency. Most schools receive weekly deliveries. Minimum order amounts are met and customers order what they need consumed during that week. DOD produce vendors update the prices and products in the catalog weekly. Also, depending on the state, schools are able to receive weekly deliveries, thus making orders timely, fresh, and responsive to market fluctuations. DOD maintains high quality standards through produce quality audits requiring vendors to follow good agricultural practices, GAP, and good handling practices, GHP, and requiring that pre-cut and packaged produce is sourced from approved suppliers. DOD fresh vendors offer many different types of produce, all grown in the U.S., available in multiple forms such as whole, pre-cut, and a variety of pack sizes, and from multiple locales. Locally grown or produce in season, all domestically grown. DLA defines local as produce grown within the state or adjacent states. The importance of offering a variety of fruits and vegetables is to assist schools in meeting NSLP meal pattern requirements. Therefore, different pack sizes are available for daily portion size requirements. Produce items can be added based on customer demand if the vendor can source the item. Some of the challenges include DLA contracting starts the planning process 18 months before the contract expires. So that's when we need to hear from customers. If there is a major change to the solicitation, we may not be able to accommodate it unless we get the information in time for the DLA to include it in their market research. State agencies should communicate to the USDA and DLA when school districts are interested in being added. Any school district interested in being added to the program should notify their state agency Favors, the web-based order receipt system is an easy ordering, funds tracking, and receipting mechanism for the USDA DOD FRESH program. Recipient agencies are able to track their entitlement fund balances and total order costs. In most states, individual schools place orders directly via the Favors catalog for their area. In some states, districts place orders with input from each school. States must reconcile with districts. At the beginning of school year 2017-2018, the Department of Defense surcharge of 4.6% on USDA DOD fresh orders was removed from the NSOP entitlement funds and favors. This enhancement makes it easier to compare prices of produce available through the USDA DOD fresh program with what can be purchased from other sources. The dollar value appearing in the case price column only reflects the vendor's price and the surcharge is no longer charged to NSLP entitlement. Therefore, prices listed in favors catalog reflect the prices that schools will be billed for the product. NSLP customers are now able to apply more of their entitlement balance directly to produce purchases. USDA DOD FRESH program can offer a perfect avenue for smaller recipient agencies to utilize their USDA foods entitlement dollars. Some of the best practices for using the USDA DOD FRESH program are state agencies should monitor school district balances and favors to ensure funds are used and encourage districts to do the same. If adjustments are needed to funds regarding increases or decreases, 
please contact the Program Integrity and Monitoring Branch so that all changes can be updated in WebSCM. Customers must inspect produce at the time of delivery and reject any produce that does not meet expectations. State agencies and school districts should work directly with their designated DLA field representative on any issues as well as the vendor. Customers must annotate favors receipts which places funds back in the entitlement balance. We recommend 100% use of DOD for any recipient agency that have small planned assistance levels. Recipient agencies are to report issues with produce quality, condition, availability, and delivery to the appropriate DLA service representative, the vendor, and the state agency. It is important that all issues are well documented and include specific details. If issues are not resolved, please contact the USDA complaint team. The USDA will work with DOD to resolve. This slide is a visual depiction of the information mentioned in the previous slide. The following slides will provide resources regarding the USDA DOD FRESH program as well as the appropriate FNS and DLA contact information. The Food and Nutrition Service website provides history of the program and information about current operations, the USDA Farm to School Fact Sheet, Farm to School State Contacts, the link to USDA DOD Fresh Produce Contract Information, the DLA Service Representative Contact Information, as well as a link to access favors. The DLA website provides detailed information about how the USDA DOD FRESH program works as well as the background. It also lists links to prime vendor contracts and delivery zones. Several states rely on DOD produce as an integral part of farm to school efforts. The term farm to school encompasses efforts that connect schools with local food producers in order to serve their products to children in cafeterias and classrooms. Check out the Using USDA DOD Fresh to Purchase Local Produce Fact Sheet for more information. The contact list for the DLA field representatives is available on the Food and Nutrition Service Food Distribution Program USDA DOD Fresh webpage. Please check this website for all updates. The USDA Foods Complaint Team is available Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Email USDA Foods Complaints at fns.usda.gov or call the USDA Foods Complaint Hotline at 800 446 6991. Thank you.